on this as well, Tim Mac Vintage, um, coming to you tonight and Wednesday, January 22nd. It is 8.40 p.m. here now in Cayman. Um, I wanted to come with a short little video to give you an update on this um, 2CI board that I am working on. So this would be part three, and this is going to be the final. So if you want to watch the whole series, look at my live when where I started the board. Then I had part two where I got enough on it for me to power it on, um, and I had issues. And now this one, part three. So um, let's show you where the board is at now. So here I am with it. Um, so everything is on it. Everything is done. Um, oh, that's just how it's shining. Okay. Anyway, so I have all the all the RAM is here. I finished everything. Um, new bus, cash card, um, ROM slot, um, all the things on the back. I still need to put in rivets for the video, but all the other ones are in. Everything is in. Okay. So, um, power it on, we get a chime, and I'm going to try to get your video here to see the screen, just give me one second, oh, alright, so here we are. Got, I got that pointer, gray screen. I do have a capture device I need to set up. I, I, I just came back from, from actually Florida with it. And there we are booting up. Sorry, it's shaky. I need to hook up the capture device. That way I can feed this right into OBS. So anyway, um, I'll come back to that in a minute. So we are working. Um, I'll tell you, I already connected TechStep to this, and I ran TechStep on it, and um, everything is okay. Um, the board is still very dirty, but it does need a cleaning. So um, it will go into ultrasonic cleaner and get cleaned up and everything. Okay, so here I am, and oh, wrong button there. And of course now it doesn't want to. All right, so there we are. Okay, so it's booting up and everything. Um, there we are, 16, 16 megs, 755. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. All right, and, and soft power worked. It went off, so you can see the light is off. So what was the issue? Why was it not powering up? So let me put this stuff here away. Okay. So um, why was it not powering up? What, what was happening with it? Um, what was happening last night was that it would turn on and I would see some flashing on the RAM. Um, because this this is the actually a blink RAM, so I can see if there's activity going on. Um, but I was getting like either a red screen or a green screen and so forth, and I was not getting a chime. So I went through and I cleaned it a little bit with just soaking it in some IPA and then brushing it well so that I could see. And I really did not see any bridges. Everything was soldered on good. There was no bridges or anything. So then I was like, okay, well, what else could it be? Now, if I re <coughs> this this board here originally was one of the ones that I bought from Max. I bought two boards from him, and one I reloaded, and that went to Steve in Tasmania, Australia, and that was my first two two CI, and then I had this one. Now this one has been in this room for a while, and moved around and so forth so what I did then was that I was like okay well let me look and see um, if everything is okay on the back if anything is wrong or anything fell off and so forth 
okay so while i was looking i came across this one inductor right here and i'm going to go to microscope so they can see it okay that little sucker right there i had one inductor here that was missing I could tell it was missing because the two sides of the solder were still there, just that was missing. So I took it off of the old board and I put it on and still nothing. So this fixed one thing because these inductors is for power, okay? So um, basically, um, if they're missing, something is not going to get power because it's, it's there to actually clean it up. Um, so whatever this was for. Over here, this is the floppy area. Floppy, ADP, possibly, and so forth. So, so then I still, I still had that problem, and, and it still was not coming up. So then I kept on looking some more. I went back over the board again, and I checked all my soldering stuff and all that, and still the same thing. So then I went back to the back of the board, and I was looking around some more. And what would you know? This inductor was also missing. Okay, and this one here goes with the two Sony chips. So that tells me that, okay, well, the Sony chips were not getting power, they weren't coming up. So I put this back on there, that small little sucker, and after that, I got chimed and it worked. So there were just two little inductors missing off of the bottom of the board that were the cause of this board not chiming up. So two inductors, one here and one here. So once I put once I put this last one on, everything worked. So then I went through and I put in the SCSI, the floppy, I put in the battery holder, um, then I put in the cache slot, the ROM. <coughs> I did try, before I even found those inductors, I did put in the ROM slot and I tried to boot up with, with this ROM to see if these were bad and I was getting the same actually, same actually result. So, and I also changed the actually crystal here, which was this one. Um, thinking that it was this but I think this crystal is fine so but this is a new one here um, so once I got it to chime then I was like okay well let me finish putting on all the stuff back here I did the cache the three Nuba slots now all these are brand new they're not taken off of the old board um, these are the same as I use for the SE30s but these I was able to find a supplier that ha that has some and I bought and I bought a bunch from from them um, I went ahead and I used brand new, brand new RAM slots. Um, I will salvage the ones off of the other board, but um, I'm going to put that board on my on my hot plate and let it all get hot and that and that way I can just pop them out. Hopefully, I won't melt them. So that's my only worry about doing it that way. But we'll see. So this board is now working. It is completed. So this will go back to the person that it's for. I have another one to do, but I will not be starting that one tonight. Uh, this video is just uh, just a wrap up and an update of what things where things are. I mean, again, I mean, look, I can easily just plug this in. Uh, get my speaker here. I'm gonna connect the keyboard because I, I'm gonna do soft power. I'm just gonna hit hit the switch on the keyboard. There we go. See, and my RAM is blinking. That way I know there's activity on it. I don't have any SCSI connected right now, but um, but yeah, it's it works. So I'm happy. And I'm glad that it was not a, ma a chip failure or anything or bad solder work. Um, that this is just those two inductors were missing on the bottom. And once I put them on, that was it. So, uh, 
Um, I'm, I'm very happy with the outcome of this board. And um, I will be starting another one probably tomorrow. Um, I will do a video. I might do might do it live tomorrow because I don't really have anywhere to go tomorrow. Um, today I went to the gym. And tomorrow I don't, and then I go again Friday. So, um, yeah, I'll probably do a live stream tomorrow, and um, we'll start on the second board. I also have a CX here. Um, so, this is, did I turn it off? No, okay. This is the other CI. So, this I'm going to transfer also. Then I do have a CX here um, that is not powering up. It's giving, it's coming on, but then going right off. <coughs> so it's going to be in this area here. I, I may have to clean this in here and check these traces and so forth and see what might be wrong with this board. Usually, that's the area that's bad for the for the for the actually CX. So this one here, I cannot transfer because there is no new board for it yet. So I will have to, I will have to just try to fix this one. But this one I will transfer over. This one has some major damage also. So I will transfer this one over. Okay, so um, that's all I have for tonight. Um, wanted to come and let y'all know what, what what's going on with this board and that's another one done uh, very happy with that so um, thank you for watching if you can give me a thumbs up uh, leave a comment if you're not uh, subscribed please do so if you can for me and if you want to help the channel go to my coffee site which is this stuff right down here you can just go to kmacvintage.com it'll take you there you can give a donation or help out or uh, follow follow the channel and then you'll see my posts and so forth that I do on that site. But anyway, thank you for watching, folks. Y'all have a great evening or morning or day, wherever you are in the world and you're watching this. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.